Hello YouTube, welcome back. Um, so we have an issue today with my PlayStation 4. I went out, uh, put in my Battlefield 4 disc. There you go, PlayStation 4, Battlefield 4. Pull it out so you can see it. I'll place it in and watch. Take it up to the screen. Unrecognized disc. I've taken it out multiple times, placed it in, same problem. Um, let me go ahead and place this back in. And just to show it's just not the game, I have a Blu ray here as well. One of my favorite movies, Watchmen. I'll go ahead and place it in the disc. Drive. Alright. Keep an eye up there on the screen. Unrecognized disc. Alright, so I report I called uh, Sony's customer support. Uh, they were kind enough to walk me through some steps to see if uh, we could resolve the issue. Uh, remotely, unfortunately, we couldn't. So they sent me, said they were going to overnight me a box to um, send this in um, for repair. Uh, unfortunately, they actually do not overnight it because it, uh, I reported it Sunday night and I, today is Thursday morning. I just got the box. Here it is. So this is the box that you'll receive. I've already opened it. Uh, I'll go ahead and pop it open. I'll show you exactly what comes in the box. So, um, some foam liner, which is great, and keep it very well protected. Um, a cover, uh, it's just so there's no scratches, I guess, on the PlayStation 4. It comes with documentation. I'll show you exactly what the documentation says here. Alright, so we got <clears throat> steps for packaging the PlayStation 4. Um, all you're going to do is send in the console itself. That's it. No accessories or cable cables. I'm just going to place it inside of that covering, place it within the foam padding. Um, it can't, and then at the bottom of this is a pink slip. Just got to fill it in with your information. Um, warranty service, what I'll be checking because obviously this hasn't been out for more than a year. And a copy of the, let me see if I get that, a copy of the original store receipt must be included. Uh, luckily, I purchased this off Amazon, so. I can just go online and print that out. Um, da, da, da. There we go, and just sign that. So we include that part of the slip in the packaging. Step five is um, place the return label on the uh, inbound shipping on the box. Go to FedEx.com or call FedEx or go to a location to arrange. Uh, four locations or arrange pickup, blah blah, and we, it is ready to ship. And the reverse side just has information regarding. Please note, uh, it must be returned with the with the label. It will not be serviced if any of the following: uh, invalid service number, excessive wear and tear, serial number has been tampered with. A valid copy of the original story receipt must be. Uh, included and frequently asked questions. I'll let you go ahead and just peruse that at your liking. It's around time, approximately uh, about two weeks. All right, and what else comes in the box here? We have the actual label. I won't turn around if it has my address on it. But so, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pack it and pack it up, and I'll show you what it looks like. And uh, just as a quick note, guys, I did remember at the last minute, um, they did inform me that I will not be getting back this specific unit, they'll send me out another unit. So I made sure to deactivate my account from this specific PlayStation 4, um, so that way I don't have my accounts you know out there on multiple machines, and it also removed my personal data. I, at least I hope it did. So I just uh, removed my user and I'm going to go ahead and pack it and load it up. Alright guys, so I have the PlayStation 4 inside of the um, I guess casing here and the foam padding. 
go ahead and close her up and stick my right, guys on. so I have everything packed up and I did I didn't even notice this but they actually supplied tape to tape the box with it was that uh, second piece of paper I thought it was just um, uh, uh, um, the original backing of the sticker that they sent the box with but actually tape was on it because one of the instructions here was what did it say it said um, um, tape here uh, da -da -da. place the returning yeah there it goes um, so step five I'm not sure if you can read that very well but it said place uh, the return shipping label or inbound closed box and seal with supplied tape so I was like what supplied tape I didn't see any tape and I just noticed there was tape on that second uh, piece of slip there so I went ahead taped the, the size there I put my return uh, label on it and I'm ready to go and drop this off and um, I will give you guys an update probably in a couple of weeks to see exactly what the turnaround time and the, uh, the experience was with this situation alright guys till next time bye